Joe, take one. Take two. If I had one word to describe Joe, it would be thorough. I would describe Joe as hardworking. Resolute. Conservative. Wicked awesome. That's two. But I'm the chairman, I can do what I want to do. I think of Joe as a captain or a helmsman of the ship and always a steady hand on the tiller. When I think of Joe, a lot of things come to mind. But most of all, I think of consistency. When I think of Joe, I think about lots of long discussions about why things have to happen a certain way, and they were never the way that I wanted them to be. The first thing that comes to mind is, the guy's always a poker face. I don't know what he's thinking. And I'd arrive at his doorstep, I'd knock on the door, and he'd look up, Mr. Bear, what can I do for you? <laughs> Joe's working style is pretty meticulous. Consistent, uh, measured, patient for the most part. He's one of the first in and last to leave at the end of the day. Joe has a very unique work style. I wouldn't say it's the quickest in the world, but you're guaranteed that it's gonna get done right. You know, when it comes to fashion, we all look towards Joe. Joe's signature look is circa 1978, and uh, it's pure accounting. The white shirt, khaki pants, dark shoes. There's not anybody else uh, in my life who wears them, but I'm glad Joe's keeping that manufacturer alive. You always knew when it wasn't another ordinary day and it happened to be Valentine's Day because that was the only day that Joe wouldn't be wearing his white long sleeve dress shirt. He would swap that out for a red long sleeve dress shirt. Yeah, Joe is not the, the type that would really hit you in a, you know, avid lover of Valentine's Day. <laughs> you know, nothing will be the same without Joe. He's been a fixture at Mass Bio for longer than I've been on board, and I really, really, really think I'll miss seeing him every day. The Joe Fazio Memorial Lunchroom won't be the same with, with uh, Joe bringing his lunch in every day. I, I mean, I, I, I can't imagine Mass Bio without Joe Fazio. I will miss the mentorship that Joe has provided to me over the last decade. Joe's been with Mass Bio for almost half as long as the organization has existed. Joe's legacy is assured. He actually unites the present with the past and also looking forward into the future. Over the last 13 plus years since Joe's been on board, Mass Bio has really, really come a long way financially, and we have Joe Fazio to thank for that. Thank you, Joe, not only for hiring me, but for everything you've taught me over the last eight years. Joe, I want to thank you for all of your contributions to Mass Bio over the years. Uh, the gift of your time has been incredible. I know you could have done other things. So on behalf of your colleagues, on behalf of Mass Bio members, on behalf of the ecosystem, thank you for everything that you've done for Mass Bio. Thank you, Joe, for keeping everyone at Mass Bio in line, despite how difficult Bob can be. Joe, I want to thank you for teaching me everything I know about budgets and depreciation schedules and accounts receivable. Joe, thank you for your service to MassBio. Thank you for being a friend, a, a great professional colleague, and uh, I look forward to uh, crossing paths with you for years to come. Thank you. So Joe, thank you very much. And on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Mass Biotech Council and the Executive Committee, you know, for all your hard work, your dedication, and really most importantly, for putting us into such a strong financial place so we can continue to take Mass Bio to the next level as we look and work every day on behalf of patients and on behalf of creating Mass Bio and Massachusetts as the world's best place to do biomedical innovation. Hey Joe, I just want to say thank you. I want to thank you for making Mass Bio what it is today. And I also want to thank you for your years and years of friendship. It means more than anything in the world. I almost just cried. I know, your hands are turning. I'm gonna miss that bastard. I'm gonna miss Joe. <laughs> I'm gonna miss him a lot.